Okay, I want to discuss, and I hope you get some feedback on this, the difference between obsidian and slag glass. Seems to be a lot of confusion about it. I thought mine was obsidian for a long time. Some of you may have had that conversation with me and I'm willing to accept a told you so if that's what you feel is needful. Um, but I've came to the conclusion that this is indeed slag glass. Um, for one reason I'll get to here in a second. It's really tough to tell. Everything online is so confusing and it's 50% obsidian, 50% say it's slag glass. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. There's no real legitimate information. They had the same density, the same hardness. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't have the ability to do a chemical test on it to see which silicon it is, you know, so we just kind of got to um, go by looks and that's what most people do. And that's what we're doing. So I just want to show you guys, this is slag. Um, it comes in different forms. This is obviously the ash. Um, you see a lot of ash in that. This is a bubble, as you can see. I love these. These are um, when it's oozing down the wherever too. I'm sure there's a proper name for that. And then that one got a little piece of something stuck on it. But you see it in ash. You see it in this form to where that it's starting to solidify. Then you see it all the way solidified. Got the iron and just bits and pieces in it. Then you see the textures from where it ran. Look at that run. I love that. That is absolutely gorgeous. I've got several of those. And one of those is what finally made my mind up and sorry for the clutter. But you've got the swirl, and this is where it gets so confusing. Is this color right here? Because that's the color of obsidian, right? See the mineral swirls in it. I mean, I love it. That's and that's kind of the point of this. If it seems like I'm making the argument for slag glass, I kind of am. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, I live in Roanoke, Virginia, the area that I've researched. There's not been any, you know, mining around here for hundreds of years. So if you don't get thrilled at the fact that you're looking at a couple hundred year old glass, I'm sorry that, you, you know, we get excited about different things, I suppose. But you see the marbling in that? Gorgeous. This right here is the piece that changed my mind. Look at that. It looks like metal. And even though it's got conchoidal fracture right there, as you can see, it's glass, obviously, but look at that. That's different than sheen obsidian. I mean, that's, and that's the run pattern from the top. And that's the bottom where it contacts the, whatever floor bed that it's encountering. But it comes in some very interesting colors. I mean, I've got some very beautiful pieces. Look at those. There's not much blue around here, so it's kind of special to me. It's mostly this and swirl. Look at this piece, a little bubble got trapped cool but to my knowledge this is slag glass i am welcome to hear any opinions or scientific theories